Hi, in this video we will learn how to send data to Instadeck from uh, notebooks like uh, Google Collab or Jupyter Notebooks uh, using the Python standard library. So here I have a notebook in Google Collab, but this also applied for any other uh, notebook environment. And uh, we have some data in uh, Pandas data frames uh, from um, airports. So let's explore it a little bit more. I'm going to create a cell. I'm going to copy this line here. We get some data sets and we get the airports data. I can run it and uh, to inspect it. And uh, pandas data frames have um, a method called to JSON. We have a guide on how to uh, send data from Python to Instadec and a subsection for pandas data frames. So if we use the to JSON uh, method with the orient records option and we then encode it to utf8 we can replace in this get the data instead in json we can run it to inspect it and it's a byte array that's pretty long we also have a snippet to use the python standard library to send an http request so I'm going to oops, call this body and I'm going to paste the function that we provide. You can change it to your liking or if you are using a library like request, you can use that too. But this one only requires a standard library. So the only remaining thing is uh, the URL and to call it. So we, now we need the URL. So we are going to go to Instadec, go to the admin section. In the hooks, we can add a new one, and I can call it airports data and create a new hook. This will generate a unique URL. We can copy by clicking here or by selecting and, and, and copying. And I'm going to paste it in the URL variable. And now we are ready to go to see it. Um, to see it appear on Easter egg, I'm going to copy the channel where it will appear and I'm going to create a JSON card and set the channel to that one and I'm going to apply. Notice that it has to have the option detect table and sheet format enabled so that it appears as a table and not as JSON. So now I'm going to run this, uh, this block of code and if we go to Easter egg, we can see that the data appears here. What we can do, for example, is um, see how many airports there are per country. So I'm going to drag country, select count, and group by country, and sort reverse. And now we see there are not many countries. So let's try uh, how many airports there are per state in the United States. So we're going to count by state where the country is the United States and we can sort ascending and now we can see that uh, there's a stale state not set there that's interesting and now we can chart a uh, state count by state with something like a bar chart we can remove this and set the color to a fixed one and now every time uh, the data scientist runs the the notebook, they can run this block of code and it will instantly update uh, any dashboard that depends on that webhook. So this was how to send data to Instadec from notebook environments like uh, Google Collab or Jupyter Notebooks using webhooks. Bye.